A former secretary at a Nazi concentration camp has been captured after trying to flee before her trial in northern Germany. Ermgard Furchner, 96, was due to stand trial for complicity in 11,000 murders, but she failed to turn up and the judge issued a warrant for her arrest. The defendant was detained by police hours after disappearing from a nursing home in the town of Quickborn. She had fled to Hamburg where she was picked up on a local street. Ermgard Furchner had been due to appear at a special juvenile court in Itzeho, an hour's drive north of Hamburg. Instead she left the retirement home between 6 o'clock and 7.20 local time, apparently heading for an underground station. She took a taxi said court spokeswoman Frederick Milhofer. The court spokeswoman said later that the defendant would now be brought before the court, set up in the hall of a logistics company in Itzeho, because the town courtroom is not big enough to handle the media interest. Judge Dominic Gross had earlier postponed the case until October 19. Because of the woman's age, the court is expected to sit for no more than two hours a day. A doctor was due to examine her to decide whether she should remain in custody. A group representing Nazi survivors and relatives of the dead expressed outrage that she had been able to escape. It shows incredible contempt for the rule of law and survivors said the International Auschwitz Committee. The case is seen as unprecedented as Ermgard Furchner was a civilian worker at Stutthof. She had worked as a typist in the office of Stutthof Camp Commandant Paul Werner Hopp, near the modern-day Polish city of Gdansk which was then occupied by Nazi Germany and known as Danzig. For two years before the end of the war in 1945, she was said to have known key details of what went on at the concentration camp. During Hopp's 1954 trial she revealed how he had dictated messages to her but claimed she knew nothing of the Nazi murders at Stadthof. Some 1000000 people were held at Stadthof which was notorious for atrocious conditions and 65000 are estimated to have died. Stadthof had gas chambers, and people were killed at the camp by gassing, shooting and lethal injection as well as death and starvation. More lost their lives on death marches from the camp as World War II neared its end. Those killed at Stadthof include many Jews as well as non-Jewish Poles and captured Soviet soldiers. Thursday's case marks one of the last ever Nazi trials, largely because few defendants are still alive. The trial is taking place in a juvenile court as the defendant was under the adult age at the time. In March, a former Stadthof camp guard was declared unfit to stand trial, while last year another camp guard, Bruno Day, was found guilty of complicity in the murder of more than 5,000 prisoners. He was given a suspended jail term. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.